Hello everyone, today in this module we are going to talk about biosphere reserves. Biosphere reserves are protected area network sites which are established by different countries and are recognized under UNESCO's Man and Biosphere program to promote sustainable development based upon the local community efforts and effective scientific planning. This program seeks to reconcile conservation of biological and cultural diversity. It also emphasizes on the socio and economical development through partnership between nature and the people. These sites are ideal for the test and demonstration of innovative approaches which can lead to sustainable development from the local uh, scales to the international levels. Biosphere reserves are globally considered as sites of excellence where new and optimal practices to manage nature and human activities are tested and demonstrated. Tools to help countries implement the results of the World Summit on Sustainable Development and in particular the Convention on Biological Diversity and its Ecosystem Approach. Third, Learning Sites for the UN Decade on Education for Sustainable Development. Man and the Biosphere Program, that is MAB. This program is an intergovernment scientific program aiming to set a scientific basis for the improvement of the relationships between people and their environment globally. Launched in the early 1970s, the MAB program proposes an interdisciplinary research agenda and capacity building that target the ecological, social and economical dimensions of diversity loss and the reduction of this loss. Its world network of biosphere reserves currently counts 621 biosphere reserves in 117 countries all over the world. Man and Biosphere's program combines natural and social sciences, economics and education to improve human livelihoods and safeguard natural ecosystems, thus promoting innovative approaches to economic development that is socially appropriate and environmentally sustainable. The three functions of biosphere reserves are conservation of biodiversity that is the conservation of ecosystem, species and genes, development, association of environment with the development and logistic support that is the international network for research and monitoring, world network of biosphere reserves. The WNBR is one of the main international tools to develop and implement sustainable development approaches in a wide array of contests to ensure environmental, economical and social sustainability through number one, the development and coordination of a worldwide network of places acting as demonstration areas and learning sites with the aim of maintaining and developing ecological and cultural diversity and securing ecosystem services for human well-being. Second, the development and integration of knowledge including science to advance our understanding of interactions between people and the rest of nature. Third, building global capacity for the management of complex socio-ecological systems particularly through encouraging greater dialogue at the science policy interfere, environmental education and multimedia outreach to the wider community. Survival strategy. In 1995, at an international conference in Savail, Spain started a new era for the world network of biosphere reserves. Since 1995, the essence and identity of biosphere reserves has deepened along the following axis. 
multifunctionality and integration amongst the conservation, development and logistic or knowledge functions that demonstrate contest specific options for local and regional sustainability. The three zone scheme as the basis for the land or seascape level planning and for reconciling stakeholder interest linked to the multiple functions. Presence of resident and migrant human settlements within the biosphere reserves and commitment to review, review biosphere reserve functions. Periodic preview of biosphere reserves included in the WNBR has resulted in many pre-1995 biosphere reserves being revised with respect to their zonation schemes and other essential features that define the post-1995 servile vision of biosphere reserves. In this slide, we see the biosphere reserve zonations. It can be seen that the core area is in the middle. The next is the buffer zone which is led by the transition area. The core area has the monitoring which goes on there. The buffer zone has the tourism and recreation zones. It has the research stations or experimental research sites and it even has the education and training sites. Whereas the human settlements are much in the transition area only. The Madrid Action Plan that is MAP was agreed at the third World Congress of Biosphere Reserves which was held in Madrid in February 2008. It builds on the survival strategy and aims to capitalize on the strategic advances of the servile instruments and raise biosphere reserves to be the principal internationally designated areas dedicated to sustainable development in the 21st century. The biosphere reserve concept has proved its value beyond protected areas and is increasingly embraced by scientists, planners, policy makers and local communities to bring a variety of knowledge, scientific investigations and experiences to link biodiversity conservation and socio-economic development for human well-being. Thus, the focus is on developing models for global, national and local sustainability and for biosphere reserves to serve as learning sites for policy professionals decision makers, research and scientific communities, management practitioners and stakeholder communities to work together to translate global principles of sustainable development into locally relevant practices. Individual biosphere reserves remain under the jurisdiction of the states where they are situated, which take the measures they deem necessary to improve the functioning of individual sites. Over the period 2008 to 2013, the Man and Biosphere program will strategically address the relevant Millennium Development Goals through the following proposed actions under the Madrid Action Plan, that is to develop mechanism to encourage the sustainable development of biosphere reserves carried out in partnership with all sectors of society that is public and private institutions, NGOs, stakeholder communities, decision makers, scientists, local and indigenous communities, landowners and users of natural resources, research and education centers to ensure the well-being of people and their environment. Next to test and apply policies for adaptations and mitigation for climate change in coordination with other intergovernment programs. Next, the use the experience of the World Network of Biosphere Reserves, the MAB thematic networks and interdisciplinary approaches to develop and test policies and practices to address the issues impacting key ecosystem types namely coastal zones, islands, oceans, 
mountains, dry lands, tropical forests, fresh water ecosystems and areas of increasing urbanization. Next, to develop scientific programs of research to follow on the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment that is MA to define approaches that secure ecosystem services into the future. In attempting to orient MAB and WNBR activities during 2008 to 2013 in the face of new challenges in an ever-changing world, the MAP defines four main action areas with 31 targets and 65 actions that are critical to achieve the vision and mission of man and biosphere program. Targeted actions help its implementation at the appropriate level, may be local, national or international within the time frame set. Although the Biosphere Reserve project is not time limited but has a long term perspective, goals and targets have been set to be addressed within an appropriate time frame during 2008 to 2013 and progress towards meeting these goals and targets will be monitored and evaluated and the findings of such evaluations shared with other contributing to the work of MAB program and the WNBR. A committee to innovative time bound sociological and policy actions integrating the three biosphere reserve functions and the willingness to share data, information, experience and knowledge are seen in vital to the role for biosphere reserves to be learning sites during the UNDESD. 2005 to 2014. The Biosphere Reserve Program in India was initiated in 1986. It was intended to develop a basis for the rational use and conservation of resources of the sites designated based on the criteria set by UNESCO. While there are 18 biosphere reserves in India, only 9 that is the Nilgiri, the Gulf of Manar, Sundarbans, Nanda Devi, Nokrek, Pachmari, Simlipal, Chanakamar, Amarkananta, and Great Nicobar are in the world network of biosphere reserves. Sundarbans, Manas, and Nanda Devi are also part of UNESCO's World Heritage Natural Sites. The biosphere reserves, their area and the date of designation with their location and key fauna they are conserving. In India environment and forest being dual subject of the administration, the state governments need to privatize, the state government needs to prioritize. In India, Environment and forest being dual subject of administration, the state government needs to prioritize the conservation zone keeping the national interest. Thus, the states rich with forest resources were able to establish better conservation network programs as compared to others. The state government implemented the biosphere reserve program. The main objectives of Indian biosphere reserve programs are to conserve the diversity and integrity of plants and animals within natural ecosystems, to safeguard the genetic diversity of species on which their continuing evolution depends, to provide area for multifaceted research and monitoring, to provide facilities for education and training, and last to ensure the sustainable use of natural resources through the most appropriate technologies. This slide shows India's nine biosphere reserves which are the UNESCO's World Heritage Natural Sites. The first one goes like Nilgiri where the key fauna is lion tailed Mekakwe, Sundarbans which are the part of delta of Ganges and Brahmaputra river system in West Bengal. The key faunas are Royal Bengal Tiger. 
Next is the Gulf of Manar. Part of the Gulf of Manar extending from Rameshwaram Island in the no north of Kanyakumari, in the south in the Tamil Nadu. The sea cow is the key fauna here. Next is the Nanda Devi. The key fauna are the musk deer and snow leopard. No crack. The key fauna is red panda. Panchmari. The key fauna is the flying squirrel. Similipal. The key fauna are gore, royal Bengal tiger. The great Nilkobar are the salt water crocodile are the key faunas here. To achieve the set objectives, the government of India has recommended the Indian National Man and uh, Biosphere Committee consisting eminent scientists, bureaucrats and technocrats to advise on policy and program formulation to lay down guidelines for preparation and approval of management action plans to oversee implementation, monitoring and evaluation, approval of new biosphere reserves. The financial responsibility for implementation of the approved activities lies with the national government while the respective state governments will provide the logistic support for implementation through the forest departments of the state. The buffer zone management is to be approached in a participatory way and thus the management system at each of the biosphere reserves needs to formulate the eco-development committees. As the reserves are usually very large and sometimes cover many civil administration complexes or districts, coordination among various departments is achieved through a steering committee consisting representatives of all line departments concerned. The Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 and Environment Protection Act or 1986 are the legal framework under which the biosphere reserves are established and all the laws dealing with the conservation and management of resources are dealt within this framework. The National Environmental Policy of 2006 which is now encompasses all such legal provisions is the framework for all conservation programs in India. To summarize, we can say the study of this biosphere reserves is very important in order to save the nature and our planet earth. Thank you.